Hello my friends, welcome to another amazing read. How are you doing? I hope you're enjoying the summer. Don't waste the sun. Today's read is called Bullies Are Pain in the Brain. Yes. And it's written and illustrated by Trevor Romain and the edits are by Elizabeth Ferdick. Let's get into this read. Bullies are a pain in the brain. What do you do with a bully? Oh, and don't say only children get bullied. Everyone gets bullied. Sometimes uh, even adults get bullied. So what do you do? They are a pain in the brain. Do you have a bully problem? The alarm clock buzzes and you slowly crawl out of bed. Another school day and you're miserable. For the past few weeks, a kid in your class has been picking on you pushing you when the teacher isn't looking, calling you dog breath or worse, making you do embarrassing things and generally getting on your nerves. You didn't do anything to provoke this behavior and you're wondering why the bully has chosen you for a target. You get your lunch money from your mom and hide it in your shoe, hoping that the bully won't try to take your money today. Then you go to wait for the school bus. When he pulls up, you see the bully staring out at you from the back of the bus with a mean grin. Uh-huh, you think, how am I supposed to handle this today? Does any of this sound familiar? If you're trying to cope with a bullying problem, here's the first thing you need to know. You are not alone. Everyone has been bullied at some point, even adults. Adults get bullied even in their work. Other kids in your school or neighborhood are probably dealing with bully problems similar to yours. The trouble is most people keep bully problems a secret. They feel ashamed or scared to talk about what's really happening. They think that if they ignore the situation, it will go away. It won't. Here's the second thing you need to know about your bully problem. It's not your fault. And I'm going to add, don't keep it a secret. You're not doing the bullying. Someone else is. You didn't ask to be bullied. Someone else decided to bully you. Was it something you did? Something you said? Is it because of how you look, where you live, or what you wear? Or any other reason you can possibly think of? Nope. It's not the reason. What is a bully anyway? Here's how the Webster's Dictionary defines one. A blustering, brow-beating person, especially one who is always habitually cruel to others. In other words, bullies are people with problems. They like to hurt and frighten people. They like to hurt and frighten people they see as smaller or weaker. Experts tell us that bullies like to be in control. By controlling you, a bully feels strong and superior, and you feel puny, afraid, and angry. Bullies are a pain in the brain. Bullies are found everywhere. In small communities, towns, big cities, playgrounds, neighborhoods, malls, parks on the street, and anywhere else you can find people. Most of all, bullies are found in schools. You may have one sitting right next to you in class. Bullies come in all shapes and sizes. Boys can be bullies and so can girls. Adults can be bullies too. Bullies have been around for centuries. In fact, they've been bothering, pestering, hurting and troubling people for too long. The good news is bullies can be stopped. This book will help you to understand why some people are bullies and how you can deal with them. You will read about becoming bully proof, stopping bullies from hurting others, and getting help in dangerous situations. If you're the one doing the bullying, this book can also help you. You'll see that you can get along with others and feel good about yourself without making other people's lives a complete misery 
And you can also learn to deal with the bullies in your life. Young people have a right to feel safe, secure and protected in school and in their communities. If you don't feel safe, reading this book can be the very first step towards changing that. And remember, if you're being bullied, do not keep it a secret. Make sure you tell somebody. Here's a quick quiz. Which of these words describe bullies? Tall, fat, young, old, not so muscular, smart, large, thin, small, muscular, average, not so smart. The answer, all of the above. Why bullies are such a pain? Bullies can be big or little, tall or short, husky or skinny, brainy or dumb. You can't always identify bullies by their looks. But there's one thing bullies have in common. They like to be in charge. The more they drain the self-esteem of others, the better they feel. You might even say that bullies are self-esteem vampires. Bullies harm people in many different ways, physically, mentally, and emotionally. These are the things bullies do best. They like to hit, punch, kick, tease, push, pull, pester, brag, taunt, harass, play mind games, frighten, heckle, insult, annoy, gossip. They like to bother, hurt, threaten, torment, ridicule, trip, pinch, act violent, and intimidate. Imagine listing those skills on your resume when you're looking for a job. Picture a bully at a job interview. Did you excel at anything while in school? Uh, yes, sir. I did excel at something in school. I was really good at punching other people out. In fact, I was the best. What? Here's what bullies aren't so good at. Bullies are not good at making friends. Bullies are not good at being kind, caring about people, sharing and getting along with others. Often, bullies come from homes where the parents yell a lot or they use physical force to make their kids behave. As a result, bullies have a lot of anger inside them. What do bullies do with their anger? They take it out on the people or pets around them. Bullies choose their victims very carefully. Most bullies pick on those who aren't likely to defend themselves. Give bullies lots of space because they lose their temper quickly. If you can smell a bully's breath, you're too close. Being near a bully when she loses her temper is like peering into a water fountain when someone turns it on. Look out! what you can do about bullies. Bullies go after people who appear anxious, sensitive, quiet, or cautious. Like ants are attracted to candy. Bullies are drawn to people who are somewhat shy. They might also pick on those who are younger or physically smaller. So, what's your best defense? A disguise, you say? Can you disguise against a bully? That won't work. No, nope. you don't have to wear a disguise or change who you are just because a bully has decided to bother you. Instead, work on appearing more sure of yourself, stand up straight, look people in the eye, talk with a firm voice and hold your head high. If you act more confident, you'll soon start to feel more confident. Bullies can be very competitive. They hate to lose at sports, games, races, or anything. To make sure they win, some bullies play dirty. They cheat or they beat up anyone who stands in their way. Some bullies demand payment from their victims. Give me your lunch money or else. Let me cheat off your test or I'll hurt you. Oh. Cool sneakers, hand them over. They get rich quick from taking other people's belongings. Sometimes they even destroy or vandalize other people's property. Bullies think they've hit the jackpot when they make you cry. Don't reward a bully with tears. Instead, stay as calm as you can and walk away 
with confidence. Bullies love power. The more they get, the more they want. If messing with electricity wasn't so dangerous, bullies would probably put their fingers into light sockets to get even more power. There is one thing worse than a bully. A group of bullies. What do you call a group of bullies? A gang. Gangs are dangerous because the gang members outnumber you. They can be even more intimidating. The safest thing to do is avoid gangs altogether. Gang members may try to persuade you to join them. Don't believe that you'll be more cool, popular or tough by belonging to a gang. Many gang members end up in jail, in the hospital or even dead. Some gangs carry weapons, making them even more dangerous. What should you do if you see someone who has a gun or knife? Leave the area quickly and quietly. Don't threaten, ignore, attack or provoke the person. Once you're in a safe place, immediately tell an adult about the weapon. You can tell a parent, teacher, a school counselor, your principal or a police officer. If bullies or a gang are targeting you, take the long way home. Take the extra long way home if necessary. Even better, find a friend to walk home with you or ask your parents to come pick you up. If they still come after you, run. You might look a bit foolish running down the street like a maniac, but you will look alive. <laughs> that is true. Run home. If it's close enough to run to, run to a group of people. If there's one nearby, run to a McGrath house or other block parent program. There's safe places, especially for kids who are bullied, followed or hurt while working in the neighborhood. Find out if there's a block parent program in your neighborhood. Learn where it is. If your neighborhood doesn't have one, tell your parents. Ask if they can work with your neighbors or police department to start one. A McGruff house will have a picture of McGruff the crying dog with the words McGruff house in a window or on a door just like this however if you don't have one of those make sure you tell a parent tell an adult tell someone that is safe that you are scared <music>
People can actually bully themselves. They do this by telling themselves, I'm no good, I'm stupid, I can't do anything right. They make themselves feel scared, sad, angry, alone, and frustrated. Say good things to yourselves, my friends. Don't bully yourself. If you're bullying yourself, cut it out. Start telling yourself, I'm a strong person. I'm smart. I can do it. If there's anything you want to achieve and you really try, you'll probably succeed. Even if you don't, you'll feel good that you gave it your best shot. That is true. Make friends, lots of them. Bullies can't stand groups of happy, smiling, friendly people. Have you ever wondered what friends are really for? Besides being homework helpers, frog hunting partners, secret keepers, and trading card swappers, here's what. Friends are for sticking by you in tough times. Tell your friends if you're being bullied. A bully is less likely to approach you if you're surrounded by your buddies. Plus, your friends could even say to the bully, we don't like the way you treat our friend, or we don't like the way you're acting. Stop it. Now, five myths about bullies. Myth one, bullies have low self-esteem, which is why they pick on other people. That's not true. Myth number two, only boys are bullies. Fact, girls bully too. Girl bullies will sometimes pick on boys and boy bullies will sometimes pick on girls. Myth number three, Getting bullied is a normal part of growing up. That's not true. Myth number four. The best way to handle a bully is by getting even or fighting back. That's not true either. If you ignore them, that's myth number five now. If you ignore them, bullies will go away. Fact. Some bullies may get more angry if you ignore them. After all, bullying can be their way of getting attention. They may keep provoking you just to get some reaction from you. So what in the world are you supposed to do when confronted by a bully? Take a deep breath. Look the bully in the eye and say in your firmest, most confident voice, Don't do that. I don't like that. Leave me alone. I don't like what you're doing. I'll report you if you don't stop bothering me. Then you walk away. Because it isn't easy to communicate with a bully, you might want to rehearse what you'll say at home, stand in front of your mirror and pretend you're talking to the bully. Speak clearly and firmly. Stand tall, show confidence, practice saying the words until you feel sure of yourself. You can even ask a family member or friend to help you out by role playing. That person would play the bully and you would play yourself. You'll soon get comfortable looking someone in the eye and telling the person to leave you alone. If the bully keeps bothering you, remember this advice. When in doubt, shout. You can yell, take your hands off me, or you're hurting me, leave me alone. Shouting will probably take the bully by surprise, and you'll have a chance to quickly walk away. If you're in a crowded place, other people will most likely turn and look. This may make the bully uncomfortable, and he may decide to walk away. Don't be afraid to tell an adult if you're being bullied. You might feel more comfortable talking to the person in private so the bully can see or hear you. You are not a tattletale if you report someone who's hurting you. Here are some adults who can help you. Your parents, a relative, your teacher, a school counselor, your principal, or the police or police officer. By reporting a bully, 
you're helping yourself and others. Think of all the other kids the bully picks on each day. They'll be grateful that you put a stop to the problem. And believe it or not, you might actually help the bully. With some guidance, bullies can learn to make friends and solve their problems without using violence and intimidation. Ask your teacher to hold a bully workshop. During the workshop, the class can talk about what bullying is, what causes it, what causes it, and how to stop it. You could also suggest role-playing exercises with some students acting as bullies and others as victims. Practice the different strategies for dealing with a bully. It can be very helpful to deal with bully problems in a group setting. Does your school have a peer mediation program? A mediator or go-between might be able to help a bully and victim to make peace. If the problem is too serious, however, adult help is needed. The benefit of bringing bully problems out in the open is that the bully is no longer in control. It won't be as easy for him to pick on you or other students because everyone will have a better understanding of how to make him stop. And when teachers and school officials are aware of bully problems, they can find ways to help the bully change his behavior. Do's and don'ts for dealing with bullies. When a bully teases you about your looks, clothes, grades, or anything else, do stick up for yourself. Say, you can think what you want, but I'm happy with the way I am. Or, you have your opinion, I have mine. Or, hmm, thanks for the advice, I'll consider it. Try not to take it personally. The teasing doesn't really have anything to do with you. It has to do with the bully's need for power and control. When a bully threatens you, do use your best judgment and follow your instincts. For example, if a bully says he'll punch your lights out, if you don't drop to your knees and whine, here, take my lunch money, take all of it, take my backpack too, I'll do anything you want, just don't hurt me, please, please, please. Bullies love it when their victims beg for mercy. It makes them want to come back for more. Don't break down in tears. Don't break down in tears or think. Or think. I'll take that again. Don't break down in tears. I'll take that again. Don't break down in tears or think you're a loser. Go home and pull the bed covers over your head. Stop spending time with your friends or don't even lose interest in your hobbies because you think you're no good. Remember, bullies love to get under your skin. If you let their mean words hurt you, you'll be giving them what they want. When a bully picks a fight with you, do get away as fast as you can and tell an adult. Tell your teacher, your mom or dad, your principal or another adult nearby. It takes two to fight. If you refuse to take part, you're less likely to get hurt. Use your wits, not your fists. When you see a bully coming towards you, don't pick your nose and pretend you're about to eat it in the hope that the bully will throw up with disgust and leave you in peace. He won't. Did you know that many bullies are budding actors? They spend a lot of time rehearsing their clever lines, such as, I'm going to teach you a lesson you'll never forget. You're dead, kid. I'm gonna rearrange your face. You think they were up for Academy Awards. Learning self-defense is a good way to protect yourself and increase your self-confidence. You might try taking a karate class. Sometimes humor can help ease a conflict. If a bully threatens to beat you up, you might say, Hey, I'll save you the time and trouble. I'll go home right now and beat myself up. That way your hands won't get hurt. The bully may laugh and decide to leave you alone. Caution. Be sure your joke isn't directed at the bully. He might think you're making fun of him. Mm, I don't really do agree with this part, but well, it's in the book. <laughs> so <laughs> I just want you to have more awareness about um, bullying.
Sometimes an eye message can call a bully down. For example, if a bully calls you a big dork, don't say, you're mean when you call me that. Say, I don't like it when you call me that because it really annoys me. Besides, I'm not a big dork, as anyone can plainly see. A you message puts the other person on the defensive. An I message says what you feel. Want to surprise a bully? Try making friends with them. Bullies have trouble making friends and getting along with others. That is true, so that might work. Are you wondering if you're a bully? Here's a quick way to tell. Look over the following list. If you answer yes to one or two of these questions, you may be on your way to becoming a bully. If you answered yes to three or more of these questions, you probably are a bully and you need to find ways to change your behavior. Do you pick on people who are smaller than you or on animals? Do you like to tease and taunt other people? If you tease people, do you like to see them get upset? Do you think it's funny when other people make mistakes? Do you like to take or destroy other people's belongings? Do you want other students to think you're the toughest kid in school? Do you get angry a lot and stay angry for a long time? Do you blame other people for things that go wrong in your life? Do you like to get revenge on people who hurt you? When you play a game or sport, do you always have to be the winner? If you lose at something, do you worry about what other people will think about you? Do you get angry or jealous when someone else succeeds? Did you just find out that you're a bully? Or maybe the list describes someone else you know. Your big brother or sister or your best friend. The good news is, bullies can get help with their feelings, getting along with other people and making friends. Parents, teachers, safe adults, school counselors can all give this kind of help. Just one thing bullies and their victims have in common is anger. Bullies take their anger out on their victims and their victims feel angry because of the way the bullies treat them. The next time anger boils up inside you, try dealing with it positively. Take a few deep breaths, count backwards until you feel more relaxed. Imagine a peaceful place. Pet your cat. Think about things that make you feel good. Or go and talk to someone about your anger. Everybody everywhere has been bullied at some point in their lives. Even the bullies of the world have been bullied, which is the one reason why they act the way they do. But that doesn't mean bullying is okay, or that you should suffer in silence, or that you should be a bully yourself. What will you do the next time someone bullies you? Think about it. Make a plan. Be ready to speak up. Walk away or run away. Bullies are a pain in the brain, but they don't have to give you a permanent headache. I won't be bullied anymore. The end. It was really important for me to read this to you, my friends, and just for something to think about. We don't need bullies in this world and nobody deserves to be bullied. Everyone deserves to feel safe. Everyone deserves to be respected. So, thank you so much for spending your time reading this with me. I really do feel strongly about this and that's why I'm sharing this read with you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for reading with me. I really think you're so amazing.